Read this sentence from paragraph 5. A sudden dart went a little over 100 feet from the end of the track, or a little over 120 feet from the point at which it rose into the air, ended the flight. How does the sentence contribute to the paragraph? Okay, so let's quick check paragraph 5. This is the paragraph about flight. The course of the flight was exceedingly erratic. So this is where it was erratic. The control of the front rudder was difficult on account of it being balanced too near the center. It gave a tendency to turn itself when started so that it turned too far to one side then too far to the other. So the flight is erratic due to the instrumentation and the controls. As a result, the machine would rise suddenly to about 10 feet and then it suddenly dart for the ground. It was erratic. A sudden dart went a little over 100 feet from the end of the track, a little over 120 from the point. So this is our sentence in question. This is in the middle of the paragraph that's describing the sort of exceedingly erratic behavior due to the controls of the flight machine that ended the flight. Let's see what answer picks up on this idea. E, it details the need for the pilot to have quick reflexes while flying the machine. No, it talks about the erratic behavior of the flight due to the controls. Now, you might presume that requires quick reflexes on the pilot, but that is not the main idea. That's not the paragraph idea. That's not really not the focus. It's not about the pilot. There's no text to suggest that you have to be, you know, goalie-like skills, quick reflexes. F, it presents the idea that the difficulty of operating the machine shortened the flight. Yes, it darted up, it darted down, it was hard to manage the flight, it was erratic, and that ended the flight. That seems to be the answer. That's exactly what this whole paragraph is detailing. Let's just check G and H. It describes the shift in wind speed that made flying nearly impossible. No, it was not about shifting wind speed, right? It talked a lot more about controls and everything else, not the wind speed. It provides an overview of the flight's progression from takeoff to landing. No, an overview of the flight's progression. You know, first it lifted off and then it rose in the air and then eventually it descended. No, that's not what's going on. It's talking about the erratic behavior due to the controls and all the conditions and it eventually ended the flight. F is the correct answer for 32. So again, this is a new question they added to this passage for this year. Doesn't seem to be anything terribly special about this question. It's actually probably on the easier side. And, you know, other than perhaps adding a question to make the whole segment or exam fit, I wouldn't read too much into why they added this type of question. That seems to be true of all the new questions for 2024.